Oi, Gav! It's going to get dark if we hang about here much longer. Let's head into town. There's better places than this to spend an evening. Shake a leg, Gav! I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. Not that I can talk, do I? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. Hmm. Who's Codger? I do hope you're not referring to me. What would you know? A lowlife like you wouldn't recognise nobility if it came up and bit you on the ah. Enough dilly-dallying. Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble, Gav. certainly took us by surprise, but nothing we couldn't handle, eh? Now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter? Ah! There you are! Thank goodness you're safe, my dear. Hey, hey, the old princess is back. I say we make a move now, before it gets dark.
Yes! Yes! Here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. This is the town where Master Rylus lives. Hold your horses, Grandad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. I am not your Grandad. And of course Dolmagus is our man. He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. But that dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. We must track him down and lift this confounded curse. Oh, just look at my poor Medea. And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable Dulmagus. That's why it's imperative we locate Rylus. Will you go and find him? That's the spirit. I knew I could rely on you. I'll be waiting here. Crikey, I don't know what the old codger's on about sometimes. Sounds to me like we have to find that Rylus geezer, right? So what are we waiting for?
You had enough, Mr. Calderasha, sir. I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This uh, haphazard fortune telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. What? My fortune telling? Haphazard? Are you a complete fool? Let me tell you something for free. All fortune telling is haphazard. What do you expect? Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? It would only have led to another disaster. That's what. I'm sorry, Mr. Kodarasha, sir. I don't follow. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I cannot believe he's gone. What is it? Mm -hmm. You! Come, show your face to the great Calderasha.
What the? This ain't good, Gal. Come on! Look lively! In reception. Don't they realize who I am? Hmm. Judging a book by its cover, don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, you can say that again. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? What? He's dead? Oh, no, no, no! Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Dool Magus we're after. He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate him. But it seems... We'll just have to track Dulmeus down by ourselves. With Rylus gone, we have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way. Wait. Please wait. I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. Are you not afraid of me, young lady? I dreamt about you. I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. And I dreamt that they could make wishes come true. A strange creature? Are you referring to me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. You're about the same age. Anyway, uh, you say you had a dream about me. Most peculiar. I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina, daughter of the great fortune teller Kaldarasha. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well, at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you! What was she rabbiting on about? Come round my house, she says. Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all, not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. We must give this young girl a helping hand. Right then, my boy. Go and find the house by the well and see what it is she wants. Hmm? Me? I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of a stir.
Hmm? Am I to take it by the look on your face that you haven't been to see that delightful young girl yet? She said she lives in the house in front of the well. We'll be waiting here, so you hurry up and find out what it is she wants. Go on! Chop, chop! I must have drifted off. How rude of me. I wanted to ask you a favor about this crystal ball. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning? Of course. Let me explain. My father, Kaldarasha, was once a really famous fortune teller. 
Lost treasure, missing people. There was nothing the great Kaldarasha couldn't help people with. But then one day, he lost his powers. All of a sudden, nothing he foretold turned out to be true anymore. It's probably because he stopped using a real crystal ball. This glass ball is... <gasps> Valentina, what is going on here? How many times have I told you not to touch my crystal ball? What? Aren't you that boy from the pub? What brings you here? Gah, never mind. I do not know what my daughter has asked you, but you can forget it. I do not need your help. I am fine as I am. I am going to bed. Valentina, say your farewells and show our young visitor to the door. I'm sorry about my father. But whatever he says, he's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers. That's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? One that's big enough to bring back his powers? Really? You will? Oh, this is exactly how it all happened in my dream. So far, everything's come true. I also dreamt that there's a crystal ball hidden deep inside the cave, under the big waterfall to the south of town. I suppose only the daughter of the great Kaldarasha could know a thing like that. Devotion to her father. I'm impressed. Just how a daughter should be. And if this Kaldarasha gets his powers back, there's nothing he can't find, am I right? Then we'll kill two birds with one stone. If everything goes according to plan, we'll find out where that hateful Dolmagus is. The time's getting on. And Medea and I will stay outside. That's the last time we set foot in a barbaric town like this. But you should spend the night at the inn and rest well, so that you're ready to take on the world tomorrow. In the morning, we leave for the Waterfall Cave!
I was starting to think you'd got lost. Right, let's go to the waterfall cave and see if we can find that crystal ball. Medea and I will be right behind you. If you have any trouble, feel free to consult us. <laughs> Away we go.
Thank you.